Hi everybody, um, before we go down the uh, road of exploring the various income streams that we're going to be looking at, um, we, we do need to work out exactly what kind of market that we want to be in. And as I previously mentioned, you know, you've got the uh, two ways of doing things, you know, you either supply a service, you know, like a content writer or a video editor or whatever, or you um, create your own products, or you, uh, and I would incorporate in the fact that you also sell other people's products because most people start out as affiliate marketers and eventually do go on to create their own products. But I would say, for, for me, for instance, I do both. You know, um, I'll occasionally put a product together, a bit like I'm doing now, even though this is a free course, it's still a product. And uh, in, in fact, it's very similar to the stuff that I sell. But also I would, include in a sales funnel affiliate links to other people's products that are directly related and that I know work. So I'm an affiliate marketer and a product creator. So it's a kind of those two avenues that people, you're one or the other really. But before we go down and explore the various other methods, you know, and there's a lot of different methods to make money. Some would be more suited to part-time basis and some can be blown out easily and made into a full-time income. And we're going to look over the period of weeks, we're going to look at various models. Before we do, we've got to think about what area we want to work in. And uh, that often is a stumbling block for people because they have like a preconceived idea that they must work in the make money niche or they must do this or that, you know, they've someone's told them that SEO really is brilliant, you want to get in there. You know, and they, they kind of stumble into an area which they aren't really um, that interested in. Um, that's the best way of putting it. It makes no sense to not work in an area that you're interested. You're not interested in. Now, I mean, you know, in the real world, the bricks and mortar world, you may sometimes find that you have to go and get a job that you don't really like doing because you need to pay the bills. You know, and I get that we sometimes do things that we don't want to do, but you know, if you're creating an online business. And we'll, I'll assume that it's to kind of expand out and make a full-time income. I don't know many people who actually just want to earn a part-time income. The, of course there will be some, but most people want it to build it out if they can and take the advantages of being able to not have to go to work, you know, to do a proper job. But uh, if, if, you know, if you're going down that line, then you st it pays to be... In is to be involved in something that you really have a lot of interest in and the reason being number one is because you'll stick at it it's much easier to stick at something that you know you you take a general interest in anyway number two is that you'll already know a lot about it so there will be people coming in behind you that you can be informative over and another another reason is that if you are playing at something that you don't really you know, you don't really, it doesn't really, I mean, for instance, SEO would just like, drive, would drive me nuts. I, I don't run businesses on SEO. I know, I know very little about it. I mean, sometimes I'll read something on it, but uh, I mean, I'm probably better than a complete beginner, but I can't keep up with it and it, and it bores me. And so if I was to start blogging about um, SEO and putting an SEO articles together and put links into products on it, I would come across as a person that's just not that interested. <laughs> I, I, you can't disguise it. People see through it. Now, you know, give me a subject that I love talking about, you know, and I can go on forever. So, you know, the enthusiasm is there then. And that's the main thing. You know, you, you've got to sell yourself as well. So you've got to start looking at, you know, right before you even think about what kind of business model you're really going into, you've got to start looking at the areas that you are interested in. And there is another side to this as well, and that is that not only have you got to be interested in it, but it's also got to have a market that's available. You know, it's got to have a buyer's market, if you like. You've probably heard that expression, buyer's market, before. All that means is that, you know, there are plenty of people out there buying products within that market. So it's no point in going... I mean, you, you will hear this all the time. People say, take a topic burrow down, burrow down, burrow down and until you've got yourself a really highly targeted market. And on the whole, on something like, say, golf, that would work because golf is such a huge umbrella and so many big guns are sort of promoting in it that it would be very, very expensive. 
So, you know, burrowing down till you got to, say, putters or drivers or left-handed putters or things like that, you know, right the way down would make it easier for you to target a market which would still be quite big because it's the overall market is so massive that even the narrowed-down niches are, are big as well. But, of course, other markets aren't like that. You could do that kind of thing in many, all of the big things, like, you know, fly fishing, you know, because you could go deep-sea fishing and fly fishing and you could go down to rods and hooks and there's all sorts of uh, all sorts of you know things you could do with these big markets but there are lots of marks out there that you don't want to burrow down too far in so it's all about kind of finding your niche that you're interested in and understanding that there is a market already and I find that one of the best ways of doing this is one you look at your hobbies and your interests what do you watch on television you know what do you read what do you actually collect or do or you know take an interest in in your spare time of course your hobbies are really key to this and also just general interests now how do you know that if your general interest is a buyer's market well one you probably buy things in it so if there are products out there that kind of points to it but the best way of doing this is to go to one of those big um, newsagent type places and I don't know if you'd call that in the States a newsagent the same way but in the UK we say uh, newsagent but you know a place that sells newspapers and you know various books and magazines one of those that has sh shelves of magazines on it they're the best ones if you go in there and you see anything if you see your topic or and of course it's a great place to do research because you know that it's amazing sometimes if you're asked to say, say something name the top five things you're really interested in sometimes you sort of stumble but when you go in you'll find plenty but you go in there and you see and if they've got a magazine that's a monthly magazine on that topic that you're interested in then I can bet your bottom dollar that there's a buyer's market there because these publication companies don't get it wrong very often they spend a lot of money and they get it right they've done your search for you and another place is um, the dummies books. If there's a dummies book for it, you know, learn Spanish in 24 hours and all that stuff. Dummies for a guitar player. And, you know, the, those books, there's, there's hundreds of them, they're all in niches that are buyer's markets. So, you know, it doesn't take too much to find your buyer's market. And it doesn't take too much to find a subject that you're interested in. Now, the various business models we look at, some don't require quite so much input but if we go down the line of sort of having to add content and things then it becomes very important that that the market is not only a buyer's market but also something that you love being involved in and so I think today we'll that I'll call that day with this video make it nice and short and next one we'll start dissecting into things a bit more but uh that's very useful that's like that's kind of like you know after the mindset stuff knowing why you want to be in business and then understanding that and then moving into understanding what a buyer's market is and how and what subjects you want to be involved in, then that, those are vital lessons before you start delving into the exact business model that we will be looking at very shortly. So I'll leave it for now and chat to you in uh, probably be in a couple of days. See you then.